Hello, this is Bear from Bear Wave. How's it going? And uh, here is the weekly update on the U.S. stock market. We covered the bit crypto market yesterday with the, again, weekly update. The link should be popping up right now at the top right of the screen as I'm talking, if you want to go check that out. And um, here, as always, we're going to take a look at the U.S. stock market. So as always, before we get started, I will be not uh, editing this video at all unless I just blah stop um with no reason so that i do that for two reasons mainly number one is you guy can hopefully see the thinking process and i will talk you through it when i update the counts so we we like to do i mean i like to do it together so that and then number two is um if i don't have to edit it takes me less time so i can do more things and uh, as simple as that i'm not gonna lie as well as if I don't, if I update the counts every time with you, and hopefully you can gain something from it, it also saves me some time. So again, before we get started, one last thing is if you want to join the Discord, the link is in the description of this video, and you will be joining other LOA traders as well as myself. So you can ask me for uh, questions about the LOA theory. If you have account and you want to see my, you want to know my my comment, what I think about it, or if you want to see my accounts, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Absolute, obviously, it's absolutely free. And uh, the link, again, is in the description of this video. So let's get started with NASDAQ. Today, we'll cover the NASDAQ, S&P, the Dow. I'll take a quick look at the DAX. Last time, I forgot. And uh, probably, I'll take a quick look at some major U.S. stocks, such as Apple and um, maybe Amazon. Well, well, We'll see. Uh, but if there's any particular stock you want me to take a look at, either let me know down in the comments, or if you join the Discord, you can tell me before I, I record the video so I can do that. Uh, no worries at all. Uh, after all, I do these videos for you, for you, not for me. Um, so the NASDAQ, uh, the count hasn't really changed. I'm still discussing the probability of having a wait for here. Now, the main thing, the main question is, is this for here? And the answer is, I do not know. I have no idea. Um, if we take a look at the hourly, so if we place four here, and this looks like a, it's all messy. Unfortunately, trading view, trading view de- tends to do that a lot, which really bothers me, especially because I pay for it. Um, anyways, um, so let's take everything up. Um, so this looks like a, Clear three of move to me, A, B, C. So either like this, or else we just completed wave A, which goes here. We're now in wave B, and we are headed uh, to completion of B, and therefore now move down into wave C. So the only way I can see this being a five wave move was if this is one. Sorry, I don't know what happened. So was as if this is one to upside now equality is very strong um, usually resistance in this case so 18,000 18,000 is also a very important number because it's one and eight it is a fib number and so it's one actually uh, but as you can see here if you draw a line, if you draw a line at 18,000 you will see how it acted as support I mean resistance resistant support 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 resistance and what will it do now so i can see it's well respected numbers large numbers will attract large orders as i always say so obviously uh, this is either a one two three um and you could you could have these as minor actually um or else as i said the alternate is and again, we need to um, be careful at 18,000. 18, the alternate is you have wave A, a B, C, A. This is the three wave move. And then you pull back lower. And at that point, you could resume higher. Or else you could uh, start a sideways movement into a four. So some sort of a triangle or just sideways move and then resume higher so that's what i see for the nasdaq so nothing really changed 
I th- it, it uh, what I can say is um, the way I see it this looks corrective it does not look like the start of something larger yet um, eventually if we do continue higher then eventually I will look for something larger but uh, I do not know I mean it's it's more of a question of is the low in place here and that I do not know now when it comes to trading then you can build a strategy around it I uh, don't want to say how I would operate because I don't want to uh, you know obviously this is not financial advice but if I also were to add how I would trade it then um, I mean I can say it I don't recommend doing it um, so the way you could have tra- I mean I wouldn't trade in here because I would wait for this high to be taken out so I would wait for um, either a five wave move into primary oh sorry into minor wave uh, one pull back and then I would uh, start looking for longs here or else let's say this is minor wave one two then at that point uh, we would need a minute one so I will look for a, still a break of B, minor B, pull back, and then I would start looking for longs here. Again, not financial advice, but that's something what I personally do. And if this was, I mean, it's also possible that if we do get up there, um, we have a way three here, short three. Um, I mean, to eventually have a short uh, intermediate weight five, which I don't know where it went, right here. So that's also possible. So that's how I would do it. Um, so would I buy now? W- no. Would I sell now? No. no. Uh, too dangerous for me. Uh, we do not have volume here on the cash market. Um, but I will also take a look at volume as well as as well as a few other things. And uh, yeah, I would also want to see support on 18,000 because of everything I said uh, two minutes ago. I, again, not financial advice as always here on the channel. We don't give financial advice. Not an financial advisor, but uh, that's what I would do. Um, again, as always, let me know if you have questions. S and P. Um, so, for the S and P, it's a bit different. I'm a bit more bearish, uh, which well, it's not ideal. Uh, then see, I don't know why Trading View does that. So, uh, let's get rid of this daily. Okay, so this probably I don't want to see on the daily. Um, as you see, I'm more bearish, but uh, it still looks like a f- some sort of a three-wave move from the top here at uh, f- 5200. And uh, it, it because I've seen counts, I think I said it last time, last week too. This is a one, two. One, two, three, four, five. So similar, uh, similar to the Nasdaq, I guess. Mm, qu- quite. Um, let's see if I can just. Okay, so I can get rid of these. So let's see. So I can show you better. Um, Where is this one? Okay. This is here. This is here. This is here. Oopsie. This is here. This is here. This goes here. Let's see what else did I have? Wrong place. Okay, so I'll just go from here. And uh, basically, what I was saying is this one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Which would make more sense uh, based on what the Nasdaq is doing. Yes. Um, and uh, here I would still look for further developments. I wouldn't. Um, yeah. And uh, by the end of the week, today is Monday, um, May 6th. By the end of the week, we should have a clearer picture. And uh, we also have interest rate decision in uh, in a month, July, uh, sorry, June 12th. So that will be here on the chart. 
and uh, we'll see maybe we'll we'll keep on moving it's possible that we keep on moving sideways until then and eventually at that point react off the news which seems like we might get a, a rate cut from the fed in uh, june uh, probabilities i showed it in the crypto video probability at least we're pricing 91 percent probability of uh, zero to one um, rate cut in uh, june so we're gonna see about that so in a nutshell that's the s p uh if we take a look at the dow um again as last week oopsie sorry either one two and again i will be looking for one more like higher oh uh, sorry lower and upside or else we could be in way three and it, it's actually possible that we 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 are in way three i mean we're actually in way four but we're topping minor of three and we are now into this sort of um, sideways consolidation just like the other two indices that's what i would um, i think i'm going to switch to this count for the time being i'm not gonna lie um so it's possible this needs to be moved one degree lower and we are completing wave one of three uh, according to this degree so we are in we could be in minor wave one of intermediate three uh, which i don't know where it is this three so basically one two three four five that's possible um the dex um german index obviously if you're not familiar uh similar thing looking for some sort of wave four um it it actually um, you could argue you've had some sort of a um, you could have a top in place here sorry a bottom in place um, the good thing is we seem to be finding support of 18,000 which is what we want to see on the Nasdaq to turn I mean what I at least want to see on the Nasdaq to turn bullish uh, but uh, yeah in a nutshell um, it's again I'm, I'm not going to fool around it's all the same question is do we have a, a long way for or not which i know that if 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 i knew the answer um i probably wouldn't be here because i'd be rich obviously it, it, i mean logically if i knew and i'm not saying if p please follow me because that's basically how the market works if i knew this was a low here if i and by I knew, I mean, if I have or had 100% um, certainty it was a low, I would put all the money I have, literally all the money I have, and buy this instrument, right? If you knew, you know, I hope you know what I'm saying. I'm not saying if I think we have a low in place. I'm saying if I knew. It's like if I have a pen in my hands, and I, I know that in a second I'm gonna drop it. Then I would bet all the money I have that in a second I'm gonna drop it. That's what I mean. Because I knew, because I have the pen, and uh, I'm gonna drop it. I, I am in control of the situation, so I know 100% certainty I'm gonna drop it so I can bet on it. That's the same thing. So what I'm saying is, we're just trying to understand if we have a. a in this case, it could be here for the specific case for the DAX, but in all instances, we're trying to understand that in a nutshell. So, on to some stocks. Actually, I'll analyze a few on my long term portfolio. One of them is Apple, which reported um, earnings. But uh, if you if you followed uh, this spike, is mainly because of the buyback, 110 uh, billion dollars worth of shares. And that is the largest buyback uh, ever made by a private company. Um, so, yeah. And uh, it, it was the record, for reference, was the previous record was uh, held by Apple. So, um, it, it actually, fundamentally, it opens up. If they're buying back shares, then uh, does that mean they're, they don't know what to do with excess cash? And therefore, they... They don't know how to invest it, so they're going to buy back shares. So does that mean the growth we've seen in Apple so far, uh, is it going to slow down? Is it going to stop? 
that's an argument you can make. Um, and I think many people, many analysts are making that. So this is my preferred count, which um, I think one one of the viewers here suggested uh, last time around. And um, I also have it in mind, but um, I think I'm going to stick to that. Now, we either, and it goes along with what I've just said for the instance, we either made wave A of 2, or else we have a wave 2 in place. So it kind of goes along with the... Um, indices scenario where we don't know if we have a low in place or not. That's also just a different um, wave. Now, uh, ExxonMobil, which I made a forecast a long time ago when we were here. I'll try to leave the link in the description if you want to check that out. I think we were around here and I said, I basically made a, a top-down analysis, so if you want to go watch it and see what my thinking process is. I'm not going to over it because otherwise this video is going to be 20, I mean, 30 minutes long. Um, and we turn higher. So right now I'm still looking for support to be found. I was looking for this area here uh, because, and if you look at volume, take a look at volume. You see how volume increased lately? So it looks like we, um, we could be, we could have buyers stepping into the market. That would be ideal uh, to turn higher and uh, finally break 120, uh, find support in $120. Um, so another interesting uh, shares that I've been um, following and I have in my portfolio and uh, I shared in the Discord, which again is completely free, uh, is uh, Next Year Energy, ticker symbol NEE. And um, yeah, I've been very bullish. I bought here, I bought here at 55. And um, yeah, it looks like we could be resuming higher. Now there's still a possibility we're going to be double correcting. That's still possible. But um, again, if I knew, then I would have put all my money in this. That's why div diversification exists. If you knew next year energy was going to go from 70 to 100, and you, you were certain, again, I don't want to be uh, redundant, but if you, knew, if you were certain, you would put all your money, you would bet your house on it, and uh, you'll be rich, but you you need to have the certainty. Um, so that's why diversification exists. That's what uh, Harry Markowitz wrote in um, his uh, portfolio selection um, article, which then uh, basically was the start of modern portfolio theory, um, also known as min various uh, analysis. So I'm talking too much. Sorry, guys. I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, as always, let me know down in the comments if you have any questions, anything on the counts. Let me know if you have any requests for specific stocks. And hope to see you in the Discord so you can talk more there. And uh, obviously, if you want to share your analysis, so on and so forth. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoy the content. Leave a like as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.